Hello and welcome gorgeous Gemini. I hope you're doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, let's see what your first card reveals. And we have the symbol of the bear, danger, especially in money matters. So I feel that there's a need to adjust or readjust or change. There needs to be something happening in your financial life. And circumstances may come about where this is necessary in the week ahead. So there's something that will come to light and you'll need to adjust things. Um, I would also say be very careful with spending. This is a timing card. Something very special is going to happen in December. An important event is going to take place. December is an important month for you. The ink pot problems to be resolved. So yes, there are challenges coming through for you. I can feel that and the energy is one of strength coming from you. So problems to be resolved, they most definitely will be resolved. Financial pinch, the lobster. So again, we have we have a message from spirit suggesting that there needs to be a financial um, adjustment. And the skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Something is going to come to light. Things are not going to stay the same. The ink pot energy, this may be the problem, which might be to do with hidden secrets. So something may have already come to light for you, or it's going to very soon and have a profound effect in your life in some way but know if there are some endings or some drastic changes or it feels like your life is being thrown into chaos gemini know that this reshuffle of your life or situation spirit has your back god has your back and that this is in fact the best thing for you a transformation is definitely taking place or will take place Thank you, Zadkiel, for supporting me to transform from my past challenges. Yes, there is a challenge here for sure. Maybe it is financial. Maybe it's to do with challenges, um, to do with hidden things, lies, deceptions, betrayal, and things of this nature. But know that there's a transformation happening around the difficulty and you can and you will release these past challenges or these challenges that are happening now for you. In fact, you are being guided now more on a spiritual path than ever before. Thank you, Raziel, for helping me channel my gifts and talents. So you have you have a service to give the world. You really do. And so you might be discovering that maybe it's been something you have discovered for a while maybe over the last few months or years you have been on this trail you have been discovering yourself and your spiritual gifts or your talents in some way in life know that it is going to be it's part of your life journey and you are going to be uh, you are still moving uh, through that uh, going down that pathway of learning it's important to take a leap of faith. I'm ready to take a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. And so there's a need to maybe take a risk. You're needing to say something maybe or take a risk. Um, there's something here, you know, you're in a transformational phase. So it's okay to take a leap of faith. You're going to be caught if you jump. And trust your vibes. What is your heart telling you? This beautiful heart symbol here. What is your heart telling you? Thank you, angels. Today, I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. Maybe trust your intuition and your angels and the divine's guidance over your own, uh, your own ideas, over your own perceptions, over what you want to do. Maybe your ego or something is, um, yes, I do see for you, there's an ego energy and you're 
Hmm. I would say connection to your spiritual self is going to break down barriers and challenges for you at this time. You are healed. If you are looking for healing, know that that is on the way for you. The healing you've prayed for is on the way. I feel others are praying for you as well. You are healed. It is on the way. You are going to increase your, um, your healing ability in your body, your mind, your soul, your emotions. However, it is that you need healing. It is going to happen in the coming weeks. God, the universe spirit is going to make this happen. Healing. One way or another. Laughter. So there's a more lighthearted energy around you rather than being down in the dumps or being depressed or emotionally unavailable. Uplift yourself and those around you through loving laughter. So there is a good time coming. You're going to be connecting with others or maybe... This is, it could also be by yourself. You are actually, um, you are actually uplifting your own energy by, mm, I would say, laughter, taking things not so seriously. Um, I feel it's actually for someone, it is connected into, into the healing and you're feeling a lot happier because of it. Communicate with your angels. Communicate, pray, meditate. You have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to other um, to others. So you will, if you commune, if you sit, if you take time, if you pray, if you meditate, if you connect into the divine, you will hear a message. There is communication that will be a two-way street. It is connected into healing as well. You may be able to deliver a healing message to others, or this may be for you personally. Cleanse your energy. There's something that you're doing, something that you're saying. There's something around you, perhaps, maybe, maybe a person who's negative, or you're doing something negative. When you release negativity, the answer to your question shines through. So this means that you get to release your the negativity. You'll have an opportunity to release a negativity. And then you'll start to see an upliftment, the laughter, the joy coming back and your light shining through. So it's time to cleanse, to detox. How does this resonate for you, Gemini? Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So you are stronger than you think you are. Do not doubt your strength mentally, emotionally or physically because you are incredibly strong. It might not feel like that, but you most definitely are. Inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance self-care and appreciating your divinity so this is another call to connect into the divine connect in to your spirituality connect with your inner feminine energy now there is an energy around being independent your independence is a foundation of your strength and success so maybe you're wanting more independence in some way how does this resonate for you gemini Hmm. Maybe it's more independence financially. Maybe it is from a relationship. But we have strength, so you will overcome. So you, you have the strength to overcome and there is success here for you. And you have the second card now that speaks of transformation. This, this can mean that there are endings, endings that take place so you can cleanse so you can move forward in the best way for you you are experiencing enormous change right now which brings great blessings it can bring great blessings for you this change you're needing to do what is right for you so an assessment of that in a truthful and honest way is important Oh, 
Okay, let's take a look here. We have the Eight of Gabriel. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results. And there's important communication that's needed, important. Maybe you're needing to say something that's been on your chest. There's also an energy of a great deal of activity. So yes, there's going to be a flurry of activity, things going on, things happening suddenly for an immediate change or an immediate result. Justice, something to do with the law or fairness. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor, so don't give up. So we have a ruling in your favor, something that you will like, something you will enjoy, something that is fair to you. This is Libra. You may have a Libra in your life, perhaps of importance. And the two of Michael, it will all be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem uh, and finding a compromise is going to be a good outcome. You can make a better decision than what you have been making. And doing this will in fact bring justice and fairness into your life. The Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, and the chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder, so you get the chance to do something amazing. If you are truthful, if you make a better decision, if you connect into the divine, if you accept this transformative energy, Joy through spiritual growth. Again, we have that message of connecting into your spirituality. You can be a light or a leader to others. I feel that because you've been through such a trial, you are going to, in fact, hold that wisdom and that will be a shining light for others to follow. You can be such a good example. Answers that come through meditation. This is Virgo's card. Perhaps a Virgo, an important conversation with a Virgo is going to happen. Take a leap of faith. Believe in yourself and listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. You did have that message over here. A leap of faith. You're needing to find that strength to take that leap of faith. Do what gives you joy. So what is it that... You're holding back from that you don't think that you're strong enough to do because in fact you are strong enough and you can move forward in the best way possible. Just take that leap of faith. Say what needs to be said. Do what needs to be done. And you'll know if it's in alignment with your highest purpose because it will feel perfect for you. It will feel even though it might feel scary or it might be unsettling to think about in some way. Know that. It's going, you are being guided by spirit here. You are being guided by your angels and that it is the best thing to do for yourself. And let's take a look at the pendulum. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you are welcome to think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your heart and see if this resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.